All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be talking about the worst weapons or the cheapest weapons, cheapest armors, food, trading items, horses, and uh, more based on their overall value. So I made a similar video recently where I talked about the best end game items, like the most expensive, the ones you would find in end game, you know, those type of items. And now I thought I'd make a video about, you know, the other spectrum, right? So uh, now this video is pretty much all the values and stuff is based off the global default values of the said items. So they might be higher or lower in your world due to inflation or deflation or abundance or, you know, stuff like that when it comes to the item price. Uh, also, this is based on the vanilla, vanilla game. No mods or crafted weapons from smithing are included. And uh, if you did want to check out the end game item video that I made, it will be down in the description and in the uh top comment so you guys can go check it out if you did miss it or you find it interesting so uh, here we go so there's a lot to go over so pause if you wish to see all the stats but i'm just going to put the picture up as i'm talking about it and we're going to go from there right so let's start with uh pack and mount animals so first we have pack animals the old work horse uh then we have camels that is the pack camel then we have horses and that is the i can never say their name but Batanian, Batanian Pony. So those are the worst in all three of those categories. In terms of price, you know, the old workhorse, it's still good, but like it still does exactly what all the, what all the other uh, pack animals do, which gives you 100 inventory. It's just the least expensive, right? Uh, second, we have is uh, melee weapons and shield. So for daggers, we have the Pugio, I think. Listen, if I, if I mistake any of these words, deal with it i don't want to hear it in the comments it happens it's whatever then for one-handed sword we have the horse whip i've never seen it in the game but it's there um and the wooden sword is the second worst um now we have is the one-handed axe and that is the torch again i've never seen it in game but it's there and hatchet is the second runner up uh then we have for maces we have the wooden hammer for two-handed sword we have the wooden two-hander for two-handed axe, we have the hoe. For one-handed polearm, we have the iron pitchfork. For two-handed polearm, we have the simple pike. And for shield, we have the makeshift kite sparring, 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 I think it's sparring, shield. Now, let's move on to range weapons. So range weapons, for bow, there are two tied for the worst with the practice long bow and the practice bow. For arrows, the base, the basic weapon tier two arrows because there's a lot of arrows that just are named plainly arrows right the picture doesn't really change but the most basic one and the cheapest is the tier two is the weapon tier two arrow then for crossbow we have is light crossbow for bolts bolts are all the same price but in terms of stats the weapon tier one bolts are the worst uh throwing weapons that you can pick up we have stone uh, throwing axe, we have the Francesca, I think that's how you say it, Frances Francesca, I don't know. And then for throwing knife, we have the Western throwing knife and the Highland throwing dagger, and they're both tied for worst. For javelin, we have the simple javelin. Now, let's move on to food. For the cheapest food, since it's not really a good or bad one, right, it is grain, and uh, fish is a runner-up. Uh, now, for uh, smithing and trading items, tradable items that cannot be used in smithing is flax. And for smithing items, pretty much ones you can use in the refining process and making a weapon and forging all that, is crude iron. Now, let's do armor for your battle outfit and your civilian outfit since you can use the same piece of clothing for both. Since they're all cheap and usually the cheaper clothing, you can also use it as your civilian outfit. And if you didn't know, battle outfit is the one you see more. It's when you fight. And uh, go on sieges and all that stuff. And then your civilian outfits, when you visit a keep or you uh, run around um, in the town, you'll see that you're wearing something different. Now, for head armor or helmet, we have a lot that are tied for worst. So I'm going to read them out. It's going to be all on the screen. Uh, I'm going to pronounce a lot of these wrong, just letting you know. We have the kefia with silken band. Then the kefia with brown band. Then the merchant's hat. Then we have the brown Kefi listen if I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. It is what it is. You know it is what it is. Then we have the Western head wrap, the northern style head wrap, the brown hijab. I think I said that wrong too. I don't know if I said that right. And uh the rough spun kefia. 
Again, my apologies. <laughs> then for cape, again, we have a lot that are tied. We have the scarf, the southern wrap scarf, the woman's hood, the southern shawl, and the western hood. Now for body armor, body armor does need to be split into battle outfits and civilian outfits. Uh, for battle outfits, the dummy min armor is the worst. And for civilian outfits, the burlap dress is the cheapest. Now for uh, hand armor, we have the arm wraps and the ragged arm wraps. They're both tied for worst. Then for foot armor, we have the southern moccasins and the lady shoes. They're both tied for worst or cheapest, however you want to put it. Now let's go to tradable animals. Hog is the least valuable out of the uh, trading animals. And now let's finish with the horse harness. We have is the rugged saddle is the least expensive. So hopefully this was uh, informative. It's a short little video, you know, just showcasing all that type of stuff. I'm gonna make some other videos that showcase uh, like animals that aren't in the game yet, but that they're in the game files and stuff of that nature. But, you know, hopefully you learned something. It was a cool little watch, right? Ask me any questions, ask me any concerns, and like always, stay safe.